Don't mind me, I just got out of the shower. So, I also am putting, this is actually like my skincare routine right now. <laughs> but yeah, I got out of the shower and, oh fuck, someone's coming. Every fucking time I wanna film. One eternity later. Okay, as I was saying before I got interrupted, I, this is really, really random. I guess this is like a vlog, but I was on UrbanOutfitters.com a few days ago. Are you kidding me right now? They're back. More moments later. I don't like, see this is why sometimes I have trouble filming in my house because, ow, I do not like when people can hear me film. Well, first of all, nobody in my house knows that I even make videos. Shocker. Actually, almost nobody in my life knows that I make videos. But, but anyways, yeah, I don't like people hearing me film. I don't even like hearing, I don't even like other people hearing me talk, like, on the phone. Obviously, if I, I'm out in public and I have to answer a call, I'll answer it. But I don't like having conversation on the phone with people around me. I mean, I don't ever like talking on the phone. But anyways, <laughs> oh, I'm so shy. But <laughs> what would I say? Okay. Yeah, so uh, let me clean my glasses. I am so sorry. This is very, this is a very interrupted video, vlog, whatever this is. Am I red? I am kind of red. Whatever. I was on UrbanOutfitters.com and I saw this. I grew up with Lip Smack. I mean, I fit. When did Lip Smacker come out? Let me check real quick. Um, but I do know that they were very popular in the 90s and or like early 2000s and i had a bunch the chapsticks that's what i had the chapsticks i was like thinking did i have lip glosses i did have lip glosses though but i remember like i had a bunch of the chapsticks and uh, i mean they still sell them like everywhere but i don't know i just saw these on urban and i was like oh my god i need i just need to buy this and the foot, oh, oh my god, I just realized one of them has like shimmer. They're all clear liquid gloss except for one of them. And that actually makes me really excited because that's different. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna try all these lip glosses. Meanwhile, they're all, they look the exact same. They just smell different and you can't smell. I'm so sorry, that's not my fault though. Technology, you would think they would have like a smell thing, but they don't, so I'm sorry. Oh, okay, so they came out in the 70, well, actually, they were founded in 1927. This is a history lesson now. <laughs> they were founded in 1927 in the United States by Jesse Bell. And in the 1970s, they expanded into a popular range of lip balms called Lip Smackers. My hair is wet because I obviously I washed it, but I don't know. I just didn't want to wait for it to dry. I didn't feel like drying it with a hair dryer. Like, I like air drying it, so I'm going to have wet hair. Also, I have no makeup on, so I'm red, and I'm not flawless, I'm flawful. I have flaws on my skin. Anyways, I'm gonna make this real quick. I'm gonna open it now for the first time. I've had this for like, when did I get this? I think I've had this for almost a week. Oh, I was gonna try it from here to here, but for you, it's this, whatever. I'm gonna try it from left to right, my left. I'm gonna try Tropical Punch. That's very exciting. Let me wipe. I haven't had some chapstick on my lips. Tropical punch. They're so cute. Oh, this smells so good. Ooh, they're not that sticky, but I that's good though. I feel like lip glosses, not just lip smacker, but like a lot of lip glosses are really, really sticky. And I think they realize that that's not really like a practical thing, like having really sticky ass lips. But now lip gloss is just, can you even tell Maria lip gloss? I feel like you can't. Like it doesn't, okay, I, I like that there's no stickiness, but I feel like there's no shine. Or maybe I should put more. Okay, seriously though, like one of the best things about Lip Smacker is, was the taste because they tasted, they didn't taste chemically or anything that they actually tasted like candy. So, not gonna lie, a lot of times I would put, 
There's a mirror behind the camera, by the way, so I'm like, a lot of the times, I would always just put it on to lick it off. And I might do that now, because this tastes really good. Next, oh, damn it. Next, we have watermelon. I mean, I already know this is going to taste amazing. Let me wipe. Tropical punch. Looks, it's going to look exactly the same, because <laughs> it's exactly the same. It's just the scent that is different. Scent slash taste. Watermelon. I actually really like that they're not sticky. Although, I mean, part of me kind of wishes it was a little sticky, right? Because it's like, that's what it was when I was a kid. Like, it smells exactly like watermelon bubblicious. And that is a great thing. I'm like not even going to put them on. I'm just going to taste them because... <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. No, but seriously, I think they are edible. They have to be edible. They taste so good. I'm not crazy, right? I'm not crazy. They taste really good. So this one is cotton candy. Oh my god, actually this one, oh my god, this one is so good. I think this one might be my favorite one. Taste test. So good. Okay, so this one I'm actually really excited for because this is the only one that's different. Wait, have I been showing you guys? Oh my gosh, I haven't been showing you. Well, does it even, the question is will it focus because that is not focusing. I can tell by the mirror. It is right now. Nope. Oh my god. I There you go. Well, this is the Tropical Punch. This is the watermelon one. Come on. Is it upside down? Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is the watermelon one. This is a kind candy. They're just different color. That's what it is. Like the packaging. Cute though, right? It still gives me like... 90 like to early 2000 vibes to like the packaging so that's cute and then this one is the one i'm going to try now this one is called sponge sugar which correct me if i'm wrong but isn't sponge sugar cotton candy or i guess it's not because if they have a cotton candy one and they have a sponge sugar one then it's probably not the same okay but can you see it's like really pretty and shimmery so i'm actually really excited to try this one Wow, I like this one a lot. Like this the scent, but can you oh my god, look at my scar. <laughs> that was not cute. It's focused now. I really can't stand this camera. Okay, so that's sponge sugar, which it smells like vanilla and cotton candy. <laughs> for just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna Google sponge sugar because I swear isn't it cotton candy? No, it is! Cotton candy is a sponge sugar confection. It is cotton candy, but there is specific, there's like a specific thing where you can literally spin sugar. I'll insert a picture. Very interesting. When it comes to any type of like lip product or just even scent, strawberry is always my go-to, so I'm very excited for this. I'm thinking it's gonna smell and taste like Bubblicious, the strawberry flavor, so let's see. Oh, I'm right. It smells so good. This is always a classic. It's always, strawberry is always my favorite. But yeah, this is my favorite one. I love strawberry. But I'm not gonna lie, this one is actually a second. Sponge sugar is my second favorite. All right, let's rate them. So strawberry is already number one. Number two would probably, would probably, <laughs> I said that way too fast, would probably be Watermelon. Oh wait, no. Strawberry sponge sugar. Third is watermelon. I'm doing this. Then, see, I feel like because cotton candy is so similar to um, sponge sugar, I feel like I don't want to put it in fourth. I don't want to put it in fourth place. But I think I actually like cotton candy more than tropical punch. So yes, cotton candy is fourth place. And then Tropical Punch is fifth and last place. But when it comes to rating lip glosses, there is no bad lip gloss. There's just a favorite. So I like all of them. I love all of them. All right, go get yourself some lip smackers. It was like, I forgot how much it costs, but they come with five. So whatever price it was, it was worth it.